All right, so in this old video, old video, I'm sorry, um, we're gonna have a look at the uh, Aries experiences throughout the week, July 20th to 26th, 2020. And the first experience is going to be the career experience that uh, we're gonna have a look at. So just let me shuffle the cards and see uh, what you guys got. All right, so first one uh, for you is going to be the Ten of Wands, followed by the Three of uh, Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Ten of Cups. And the last one for you, Aries, uh, that will be uh, the uh, the Hangman. All right, so it's a quite of a um, important one that we do have here in terms of a um, work in general. So right off the back here uh the weak point is that it will be an important one because something like a snowball process is going to be established pretty much it is like you do things okay and those things are after that develop on their own accord so it's very very important throughout the week how you set up your stuff because you will have to work around that setup until the uh, the rest uh, uh, until the rest of the duration of the project or the job or, or in generally the enterprise so if if this week you are starting a job okay then you need to be very careful how you set up your contract because that com contract ain't gonna change at all all right so no compromises whatsoever with the preparations with the initial execution and with the negotiations as well whatsoever uh, and we do have the three of pentacles here sitting on the second position which speaks that it will be very tough for you to especially from the negotiation side of the matter to reach a a, a common ground if you will now on the flip side however uh, the weak points that it will be rather quite busy and you can imagine that since it will it will involve a solid and thorough preparation, but also mm, it will catch on those things that are moving around uh, in a sense of like a uncertainty into certain tasks or into certain projects as well and establishment of a order and consistency into those projects. So you can expect many things to stabilize in terms of a career unfoldment moving forward and also uh, you are to be quite pleased as well with uh, the development of your personal endeavors uh, in in the job or in the work or in the dwellings that you are residing currently now important thing as well to be acknowledged with uh, with those cards is that while you are predisposed and i'm saying you are predisposed that is not granted to you um to do really good job throughout the week and you are gonna do it if you do involve yourself into it and you are conscientious uh with your um you know with your performance in general so you're gonna be happy of how things are developing i uh, doesn't mean that you should stop there uh ten of cups here into the third position of this spread points that you can really draw on that side of the human nature that regardless of how good the results are and how well you are positioned right now and you know the in generally the status that you do have into your career you can always go for more not right now but not right now not within that week but within that week you are laying the foundations of that leap into development now nonetheless uh, by the end of the week uh, whatever you were able to accomplish you were able to accomplish and from there your accomplishments are to snowball in either of the directions so if you haven't done anything that will snowball and the more nothingness it is what you're gonna face moving forward into the future if you have done a lot to grow then that growth is going to snowball forward and you can't do anything about it it's just you are going to exponentially grow if you did bad things those bad things are going to snowball so that's why it's in a very important week because whatever you sow, you are to reap with the interests and be that bitter or sweet you will have to face it one way or the other 
And one last thing before we wrap this one around, uh, don't bother to cooperate. It's just, it's because it's about your personal growth here and about your personal control. And uh, the word that I'm searching is authority, no, but uh, influence. Your personal influence over the job, uh, your colleague, although they may seem happy for you, they're not going to like how the things are going. It's because, you know, they would want the fame for themselves. Everybody wants that, but they won't be able to. So while they may tell you that they're going to help you around with your things and that they're going to support you through your development, if they come, it's not going to be sincere and you may kind of like risk it to be betrayed moving forward with the exponential growth should you set up your job around a growth those who are looking for uh, those who are looking for a job according to uh, according to those cards they just have to settle for something i mean yeah definitely they are going to have an opportunity this week it may not be as good as they want to but they have to just settle for something and when the market opens then they can change it with something else um next one that we're going to have a look at that is going to be career uh relationship wise i'm sorry so let's uh let's shuffle the cards So first one we have is going to be the Eight of Cups. Uh, moving next, that will be the King of Pentacles, now followed by the Hangman. And the last one we have for you, that is going to be uh, the, um, I would have said the Taurus. Well, yeah, because the Hierophant represents Taurus in astrology, but it's uh, it's pretty much the Hierophant. So those four card now, cards, now that's quite interesting. Well, you you need to pretty much choose something down, all right? Now, this week, in terms of a relationship, be that you, yeah, be, be you, oh my God, be that you be single, I don't know how to say it. So even, either you are single or not, um, it doesn't look like that the situation itself with that eight of cups sitting at the very first uh, position points that it will be rather satisfiable to say the least uh, as a matter of fact the eight of cups points to unfortunate not unfortunate but misfortunate so in other words it's not as good as you would want it to be in fact it's somewhat disappointing i mean the situation you may find yourself at for one or another reason now i don't want to kind of like bring your hopes down but the situation may be mis misfortunate not because you are not loved by your person of interest but simply because you cannot see each other throughout the week either way you know uh, so um, uh, pretty much uh, these cards are pointing that you ain't you ain't gonna be able to do a dime about it but it's for the greater good uh, with the hangman into the third position this time uh, it's like you gotta take it as a time to catch up your breath and to think of what is the better perspective for you in either the relationship you are in or in the way that you are looking for a relationship because for one or another way here uh, according to the cards you have lost if not all of your way the portion of your of your way and according to those cards you have lost it by being way too generous okay it's just you are generous to a, such a point that uh, pretty much people takes you for granted okay they they know that they can get away with certain stuff uh, they can get away with uh, hurting you they can get away with for example cheating on you they can get away with saying stupid things and and etc etc and you have to reflect on that throughout uh, throughout this particular week because um probably they know that because they know your emotional attachment to them and that is not just only about lovers but also it could stand for friends as well and uh, the week gives you so-called seclusion here so you can like i said reflect on it 
and see the things from a different perspective. That different perspective is going to appear to be a benevolent help and support to your standing in terms of a relationship life. And uh, by the end of the week, um, mark my words, you are going to be more convinced that it is more important to have trust and sense of reliability than to love somebody. Uh, and uh, because loving somebody, it's a good thing. But if you don't trust them or you don't find them reliable, then you, you simply can't be together. Well, you can, but it's going to be a short lived one. So uh, while love is necessary to make a relationship, um, the trust in, and the reliability is the foundation. And if the foundation is not there, you can't build up on, uh, on top of it. So yeah, it's like a, a week of break to reflect on all those kind of things and to probably see, you know, who can be reliable, who can be trusted and uh, so on and so forth. Now, if you are single, um, these cards here are pointing that things are not going to develop as fast as you want them to develop. There are going to be, you know, you may reach a certain stage of interactions and then you pretty much face a wall, right? Uh, and uh, that has its uh, own reason, so you can get to know each other better. And uh, it will be a quite of a long process, so if you do find yourself a suitor throughout the week, be prepared to have quite of a, a long road to walk before you actually can call this person my boyfriend or my girlfriend. A lot of dating, a lot of talks, a lot of tests, if you will, how much trust they can put in you and you can put in them is going to be uh, at place or in play before you actually allow yourself to open for them or they to open for you. So that being said, there is this was your weekly general readings for July 20th to 26, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then. Bye.